In the previous tutorial, we discussed what a variable is, how to create one, and how to give it an initial value. Variables would not be particularly useful if the values they contain could not be changed. The value stored in a variable may be changed using an assignment statement. An assignment consists of the variable name followed by the equal sign, and then any expression which results in a value of the correct type. When we run this scenario, we see that the value of count the first time is 0, and then after the assignment it is 1. Note that each variable may only contain values of the declared type. Here we receive an error from trying to assign a string value to an int variable. The expression that generates the assigned value may be any general calculation, including one involving the variable being assigned. When the expression is evaluated, the existing value of the variable is used and the resulting value is stored back in the variable. In this case, we took the current value of count, which was 0, and added 1 to it, so the new value is 1. In addition to standard numerical calculations, values may also be generated using built-in functionality called functions. You can view some available functions in the presentation documentation on the built-in functions page. When you use a function in your program, we call it calling the function. We will demonstrate using the function random. To call a function, use the function name followed by parentheses. Some functions require that additional values be provided to the function called arguments. Arguments appear between the parentheses and if there are more than one they are separated by commas. Looking at the documentation we see that random requires two arguments of type int so we must provide two integer values between the parentheses. Also from the documentation we see that random generates a value of type int. This means that when the program is run this function call will be replaced by the generated int value. Therefore we can use it anywhere in our program where we need an int such as the initial value for a variable. If we run this program multiple times, we see that random produces random integers between 1 and 5. It is commonly said that the function returns a value, called the return value. Note that the arguments for the function are required to be integers, so you can use any integer value you wish, including a mathematical expression that uses ints. This is the equivalent to random parentheses 1, 5 parentheses. To further illustrate that this function call can be placed anywhere an int value is allowed, we can use a random function call as the argument to another random function call. It is also possible to have functions that do not return any values. Such a function would perform an operation that has some other effect. For example, another built-in function in presentation is delete underscore file, which deletes a disk file if it exists. Such a function can't be used in a calculation since it returns no value. However, simply calling a function is allowable in PCL. Most of the functionality provided by presentation is available using a slightly different form of function called a method. Each method is associated with one type of data and is applied to a particular value of that type. We will use the string type to demonstrate methods. On the documentation page for the string type, we find a list of methods that apply to strings. For example, the method count returns the number of characters inside a string. Notice that the count method does not have any arguments. The string value that the method is applied to is specified using the method call syntax. To use a method, first specify a value. This is most often done using a variable name. Follow the value with a period and then the method name. Running this program will print 5 which is the number of characters in the string contained in the variable s. If a method requires arguments, they are provided just as they would be for a function. For example, the method find returns the index of a smaller string if it is found within some string. The smaller string is given by the argument. In this case, 3 is returned, which is the position of LLO within hello. Some methods do not have return values. In this case, the method will either change something about the value to which it is applied, or result in some other side effect. Just like for functions, a method call can itself be used as a complete statement. For example, the resize method will change the length of the string by either removing characters or adding spacing at the end. Here we change the size of the string value in the variable s to two characters. So far we have been using a variable name to specify the value to use within a method. However, a method can be used anywhere you have a value of the correct type. In this example, we combine two strings using plus sign to get the string ABCDEF, and then apply the count method to that value, printing 6.